So the Transformers TCG today uh, dropped tons of stuff in relation to the expansion, the Transformers TCG Siege expansion. And it looks like we pretty much now have a grand idea of what all the character cards are, what all the action cards are, and they also topped it off explaining it to us uh, an update that's going to be coming to the app that they have on phones. So now we got a pretty good idea of what you're going to be getting in this expansion with the characters. So we were shown Alpha Trion, mm -hmm. we were shown uh, Ironhide, which we've discussed before, Wheeljack, Prowl, uh, some of the Micro Masters. We got Soundwave, we got Ultra Magnus, our, like another ones we talked about, RC, yep, yep. and Flame War. Flak, Lionizer, Mudslinger, Red Alert, Red Heat, <laughs> Red Heat, which is Peepo. Uh, I forget what his original English name was. I don't think it was Red Heat. It was something else. We got Tote. We got Trailbreaker. We got Aimless. Detour. Detour was a surprise. I saw that one. He was one of the original, uh, one of the original uh, uh, street uh, sports car patrol guys. One of my first Transformers. Uh, Raider Detour, they call him, which mm. he had that really cool alt mode. Uh, we got Laserbeak, Needle Nose, who I worked on on the Transformer Club, which is pretty cool. I like that one. Uh, Nightstick, Ravage, Road Hugger, Stormcloud, uh, Whisper. We got Chromia. We got Cog. We got Skywarp, Flame War, like I mentioned before. A whole bunch. A whole bunch. It's it's pretty cool the lineup this time around. Now, on top of all of that, they also did a big update uh, to their app. And so the app is going to have um, all the new character cards that have, mentioned, that have been mentioned before, as well as the character cards that are going to be found in the Bumblebee versus Megatron starter set, which is going to be hitting stores soon, if not already. Um, they added a toggle to the app for um, damage counters and health counters and stuff, so you could uh, use it pretty much as a way to keep track of tokens and everything. Which is pretty cool. That's always what, super, super helpful. Yeah, it's something that I know that they already kind of have with um, the Magic the Gathering stuff. They have like something where it's like it's an app that you could keep open on your phone so you could keep track of, of life totals and uh, poison counters, which is a thing mm -hmm. in Magic. It's like if you have 10 poison counters, you automatically lose the game. Oh, okay. Um... And there's poison counter decks, so it's a thing. Uh, and then, they, of course, they have stuff where it's like if you want to like just test out decks, so you have like team and deck management where you could kind of like do these like, hey, what if my deck was like this and try it out? Uh, oh, that's cool. You know, and, and also see like, well, if I do it like this and if I have combiners in my deck, will it work out that way? Because it's always difficult to have like five characters that you're relying on. And then um, just basic stuff to the updates. Uh, they had to fix some some typos here and there. They optimized the onboarding for lag and stuff like that. Uh, fixed some of the saving updates because apparently there were some kind of bugs in there. And uh, just updated some of the settings options too. I, I don't know what that is exactly. I'd have to go check when I when I log in it, later. It could be like um, like specific um, settings or like maybe more in depth settings. You know, like oh, I want it to uh be in night mode or i wanted to de you know like maybe minor oh, totally. stuff like that, or maybe like more crazy stuff that well, you wouldn't think about it, it happens all the time any kind of app program where sometimes the r d and, and the testing falls onto the consumer and then the consumers obviously report stuff and this this is something where it's not like it's a game that like you know they make it they put it out there and then they slowly fix it this mm. is something that's going to be constantly be updating because it's based on a trade card a trading card game that every three months gets a new expansion yeah with new expansions new cards have to be brought over that means more you know text and stuff you know mistakes happen here and there but i mean this is really cool so definitely go check it out go go download the app if you're someone who plays the game or, or is interested in it because it's a really good app and it's a good companion uh for someone who goes to play especially when you play in your local game store and stuff so this is mm -hmm. pretty cool definitely check it out Go on the Transformers TCG. They have all the images of all the battle cards, too, but there's too many to mention, so but, <laughs> but check those out, too. And all the character cards, it's awesome stuff.